In the word associative, you have the word associate. When you associate, it just means that you interact with other people. The associative property of addition lets you know that these numbers, when you have only adding problems, can interact in different orders, which means I could add the 9 plus 3, or the 3 plus 4, or the 4 plus 9. It doesn't matter the order that you add them together, just so long as each piece eventually is added together. Now today I want to show you a trick for solving associative problems when there's a variable, a number you don't know. When you look at this first problem, it seems awfully complex. You have parentheses telling you what to do first, you have a missing number, but what I'm going to show you is a trick that helps you to balance everything out. First thing you need to do is you really need to separate where your numbers are. So what I do is with the equal sign, I divide a big line so I can see what is on each side. Now since it's equal, whatever's on the left should match what's on the right. So what I do is I start to match up numbers. I notice on the left I have a 3, and on the right I have a 3. On the left I have a 4, on the right I have a 4. These are balanced out. Now on the left I have a 9, but I don't have any 9's over here. What I have is an n, a variable that I don't know what it's worth. Well, that's the only thing I have left to connect, and that lets me know the 9 must be worth n. So in this first problem, I figured out that n equals 9. Now, it doesn't work always quite as perfectly as that, but you can still use this strategy to help you. You start by drawing a big line to divide your equal sign, so you know what each side is worth, and you can truly make sure that they are equivalent. Then I look for things that match. Well, right away I could see the left has a 5, the right has a 5, those are matched up. Now on the left I have an 8, and on the right I have 6 plus C. That's telling me that if I could put this whole section here together, it should be equal to my 8. So I'm thinking about if I have an 8 here, how could I divide that up into 6 plus something? I would visualize it with a picture. I start with my 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I need to figure out how much more will get me up to 8. 7, 8. So I know my 8 is really a 6 and a 2. So when I match them up, 8 is the same as 6 plus 2. So you see the associative property just means that you can add numbers in any order. And to help make sure that your equation is balanced, you can actually connect each side with the same numbers to make sure that everything has been used. In both problems, I made sure that all numbers were used by connecting them left and right. Go ahead and practice some of the activities on your center.